So earlier I was mentioning that usually whenever you're shooting flash, you want to be shooting on the manual mode. Uh, and the reason being is because it allows you much, much greater control over how things in your photograph are going to look. I'll give you a really brief example of what I'm talking about. Um, all this time we've been talking about flash power and we've been talking about ISO. But notice I haven't said a whole lot about shutter speed. And that's because shutter speed is very, very unique whenever you start using flash becomes kind of a unique adjustment. Um, it takes on a, a slightly different personality. Basically, whenever you're shooting with flash, your shutter speed is not going to change how bright your flash is going to appear in your exposure. It's just going to change how bright your available light is. Now, before we get over into changing those settings, I'm going to talk a little bit about flash sync speed real fast. Um, whenever you're shooting with a flash, you do have something called a maximum sync speed and that is the fastest shutter speed that you can use with your flash. Um, on different cameras it's going to vary. On this uh, D700 it happens to be 1 250th of a second. But on this flash I have something called high speed sync enabled which actually allows me to shoot with flash at even faster shutter speeds. Um, this is going to be something I'm going to make a video on specifically. But basically by enabling this, this allows me to have more control over how bright the available light is going to be in my shot. The downside is, anytime I go over 1 250th of a second with this special mode enabled, the flash power is drastically reduced. So that's just something to keep in mind about that. But as a quick example here, I'm going to just take a couple photographs here in the room. And I'm going to take a photograph at a 60th of a second. In the room right now, at a 60th of a second, you can tell I was at a 60th, I was at f2.8 and 14 millimeters. At this very moment, this is the result that we end up getting. I have my flash mounting off the ceiling right now, so that, that way I can show you guys that the flash is pretty much just going to be the top part of this picture. and the available light is pretty much everything else. Now whenever you're using a slower exposure time, like a 60th of a second, you're going to get more available light in your shot. If we look at this other shot though, this shot was taken at 1 2,000th of a second. So remember my flash is bouncing off the ceiling, so the flash is pretty much just up here. Notice that between these two shots, the light up here at the top of the frame didn't really change a whole lot. It's about the same. It's mostly just the natural light towards the bottom of the frame that changed. And that's what your shutter speed adjustment does. If you use a faster shutter speed with flash, you end up having less available light in your shot. If you use a slower shutter speed with flash, you have more available light. Uh, more available light excuse me. And uh, that's basically why you want to shoot in manual, because you're able to really control how much available light you have in your shot versus how much flash you have in your shot. One other thing I'm going to show you real fast. You may be wondering, well, how do I change how bright the flash appears? Well, that's where this flash exposure compensation button comes in. So once again, Right now, you can see that my camera is still set to a 2,000th of a second at 2.8. So, when I take that shot, that's the result that I get. We're not getting any available light here at the bottom of the frame. We're just getting the natural light, or sorry, we're, we're just getting the flash light at the top here. Now, if I wanted to change how bright the flash appears in the shot, that's where I would use a flash exposure compensation. So basically if I wanted to make that flash darker, if I go down to minus two, take the same shot again, just like that, now we can look at our shot. That's no compensation, that's minus two. Okay, let's do the same thing. Let's uh, make the flash brighter though. Let's go to plus two. Okay, so plus two. There it is, and there you have it. 
much, much brighter flash. So there's zero compensation on the flash. There's minus two. There's plus two. Now, if I wanted to take a shot like this one, but maybe I wanted to have um, more natural light and less flash, I could say, okay, let's just bring this flash down some. Let's just bring it down to, let's just say plus 0.7 like this. But because we know that our shutter speed affects how bright the ambient light is, let's bring the shutter speed down. Let's bring it down to 1 320th of a second. And there's our shot there. Some results to this one, but we did it two different ways. Here we did it with the flash one plus two, so we got a lot more flash. Here we did it with less flash, but we slowed down the shutter speed to let in more available light. So yeah, that's basically the premise of all this. I know this has uh, been kind of a lengthy video, but this is definitely the basis of everything that we're going to be talking about uh, from this point on. Uh, flash is definitely, as I mentioned before, it's definitely going to be a very, very broad topic. This is something that we're going to continue to build on from here. This gives you the basis of everything that we're going to be talking about. Um, because in the other videos, once we start to get, all, get to off-camera flash and things like that, um, I'm going to be referring back to these techniques a lot. If anyone has any questions, definitely feel free to write me in the comments below. And uh, like my video if it was a help to you. And don't forget to subscribe. And that way you'll be sure to get all the future videos in this series in your inbox. Until next time, this is Jeremy Smith, Photog Day the Great, signing off.